Okay. Sagittarius, we're going to do your reading. It is general, so keep that in mind. It may or may not resonate. We're going to do a reading on what you should focus on for the year 2020. Let's see what Spirit wants to bring to our attention. Okay, so healing the past. Yeah, there's there's a need to address or heal something from the past in order for you to move forward and embrace the future. Exceeding expectations. Hearing messages from spirit. Expecting miracles. And mending bridges. Savoring pleasure at the bottom of the deck. I fully embrace bliss in my life. Yeah. You guys are ready to mend bridges. Past relationships and leave it in the past. Um, you guys are open for miracles, for for messages from spirit, from your guides. You could be receiving signs or synchronicities, seeing feathers or um, pennies or something like that. Butterflies, maybe. Um, I do see you guys exceeding your own expectations this year. So that's really good. Yeah, you guys are supported as you heal the past and mend bridges. You guys are always supported, um, but just know that you are supported through this. Yeah, you guys are definitely ready to heal a situation. You, you're, some of you are waiting for someone to do this to you. Um, maybe you're expecting someone from the past to heal something with you. Let's see, options. So you guys do have options this year. I do see you guys focused on your options, um, weighing out pros and cons. And do set aside time this year for some me time, for some self-care. I feel like that will be very important for you. I just saw 333. Strength. Yeah, time to decide at the bottom of the deck with the options here. Some of you guys are going through a career change and it could involve travel. But you are on the right path. Yeah, but it's time for you guys to make a decision this year to heal a past relationship, maybe to heal and strengthen a past relationship that you feel would take a miracle. Um, but I feel like you are getting messages from spirit signs about this. You guys are just ready to, to heal and mend whatever needs to be mended, and you're ready to move forward. Success, though you will be having success in 2020.
if you believe. Ask for help from others. Compromise is at the bottom of the deck. Oh wow, forgiveness within the next few months. Yeah, just make sure you're, you, you guys are communicating clearly. The eighth house, this transformational area of your life is about shared resources and intense emotions. So the eighth house is going to be very significant for you, Sagittarius, in the year of 2020. So you might just want to go online, go on Google or wherever, um, you know, just look up your, your zodiac chart, look up your placements. But it looks like your 8th house is really going to be affected. Or, you know, just very... Something you should be aware of or should read up on. What else? Also your 7th house. This area of your life is about long-term significant partners, romantic, business, or family. Yeah, so I do feel like you guys are going to have a lot of opportunities. Also opportunities for romance this year. Vesta, the goddess within your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity. Yeah, but this also makes me think of the savoring pleasure. Like, just make sure you're also, you know, um, having me time and your own little spiritual practice or religious practice that you do. Um, just try and stay grounded within yourself as well. Focus on on your health and well-being. Taurus at the bottom of the deck. The energy around you shows the abundance of nature. It is rich, earthy, and productive, yet relaxed and slow. So you guys could also be focused on work, resources, finances. Um, you might also find yourself being a little bit more practical, maybe a little bit more... Um, moving a little bit slower this year and just being more maybe more calculated more just like planning more maybe a little bit more reserved so this could be a significant sign to you you might have this in your chart you might know a taurus you might have been in a long term relationship with the Taurus. However, this Taurus energy resonates with you. You'll know how it resonates with you. If you don't know a Taurus or this is this this is just just the energy of of earth coming through. Okay. Says so here, dear you, oh my, things are stirred up and change is upon you. This is cause for celebration. No need to be nervous, but know that it's okay to be afraid when faced with the uncertainties of life. The funny thing is that courage doesn't get mustered in the absence of fear, rather in spite of it or even because of it. Step into the unknown now, let go of the branch you are clinging to, and let spirit take the wheel and help steer you to your highest good. A most wonderful adventure. All you need to concern yourself with is choosing courage as your ally. Leave the rest up to us. There's a load of miracles being shipped your way. Remember what philosopher Joseph Campbell said, take one step toward the gods and they will take ten toward you. We're all doing the destiny cha-cha on your behalf. That's right, don't be afraid to dance. Loving you always.
It says, Dearest you, the common sayings, being in the world but not, not, but not of it and wear the world loosely, refer, the, refer to the need to be engaged with life while not being attached to specific outcomes. Don't take this world too personally, for you are one of many co-creators here to play and we have many ideas about how all this should play out. Just know that outcomes don't matter as much as the presence you bring to each experience and how you let yourself flow through life. There's a real freedom there's a real freedom in knowing and accepting this, so will you wear the world loosely or will it straightjacket you? It is your choice. Whatever happens, have the courage to keep trying to live as you were meant to. Never knew, never knew a love so good. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so it says, whatever happens, have the courage to keep trying to live as you were meant to. And when it comes to manifesting, don't worry about the how or even the why. We have that covered. Everything is going to turn out exactly as it should. Spirit has a plan, loving you always and forever. So yeah, you know, I'm getting with this, like, just don't take the world too seriously this year. I feel like normally Sagittarius, like your sign normally wouldn't, but I guess it depends on your placements and stuff as well, but yeah, you know, just, just don't be too... Just don't be too attached to a specific outcome. Don't take the world too seriously this year. Just, you know, heal the past. Heal, mend whatever bridges you have to. Focus on your emotional health and well-being. Focus on your options and new um, opportunities and blessings and miracles that are coming in your way. Focus on your finances this year. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to eat this cough drop. So this says, I'll read the bottom of the deck. Dear you, there is always more than one side to an argument, two sides if not more to every story, and hundreds of ways to be right, be different, be at odds, and so on. Today we suggest that instead of looking for differences, you find a meeting place of agreement and approach this experience with understanding and compassion. See common ground to understand how another person thinks or how an alternate plan might be laid. Stay out of judgment too. Observe, discern, but accept that others have different stories, experiences, and journeys, and some people might refuse to remain open to another's point of view. No matter what, you've been presented with a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things once common ground is reached. You're attracting people in situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. We love you so much. I don't know. I'm feeling like some of you out there watching might be separated from someone. Some of you might not. Some of you could be meeting someone this year that could be a long-term partner. I don't know if it's going to be the person you spend your life with, but this is going to be a significant connection. If not, family is going to be a big focus. Or for some of you, if you have a business, or if you're building a business, it's going to be a big year for you.
And I feel like it's going to be a big year for you when it comes to diving into your spirituality. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. I'm going to leave this here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll be back soon. Bye, guys.